If the only blasphemy against the Spirit exists in hell, then, is it not serious to sin? One could say to oneself, God will forgive everything, then sin by weakness. And then, too bad if we ignore Christ. In any case, he will give us the knowledge of his mystery, and therefore, ignorance will be forgiven. It's a miscalculation. In reality, it is true, in hell only perfectly self-possessed people, perfectly lucid, stay there. And therefore, they never come out of it by free will. But, it does not prevent other sins, especially sins of weakness, which can be deadly, like deceiving his wife. But also, total ignorance of the mystery of God that some pagans have, and that they indulge in sin because they say to themselves, life does not make sense, so sin. All this has the capacity to develop in the heart of man, egoism. Because what makes sin serious is selfishness and its other face, pride, the exaltation of one's own will. Result, if one does it out of weakness, very well, but after a while, if that selfishness becomes our deepest intention, then, when we come to the hour of death, and the gospel is ours preached, and that Christ appears to us, when we see that he is only generosity, love of God, love of neighbor, that he is only humility, then we are not attracted to him because his heart has become accustomed to selfishness and self-exaltation. When, on the contrary, one is confronted with Lucifer who reigns only by that, one follows him with enthusiasm. We can therefore say that the sins accumulated during his life, whatever the cause insofar as they develop in us a part of egoism, can make that at the time of death, in the face of Christ, this time totally freely, and in full lucidity, they are transformed into blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Obviously, there is something else to consider in ignorance and weakness. Because it also causes a discovery of one's own misery. People who sin by weakness betray, make mortal sins, but discover the consequences. So in a sense, those sins have an ambivalence. And that's why God lets them do it, sometimes for a while on earth. So that the man touching his misery, turns towards the search for a salvation. Nevertheless, once aware that the root of selfishness developed by sin, everything must be done to help people get by.